I can hear him now. I can hear him in the comments. He played Van Halen wrong. Take him to jail. Take him to jail. No, I, my bad. <laughs> Listen, I did. I did. You know why? Because that song came out probably the year I was born. It's not the point of the video. Today, the point of the video is this. Boom, we're in Rig Manager. Wow, look at that. Look at that. We're playing the BE50 LX BE2 TS. It doesn't matter. Today, we're talking about how to get more sustain. I saw somebody ask the question, um, how do I get more sustain out of a profile in my Kemper? I'm gonna show you a couple ways. I'm gonna just walk through it. If someone said to me, I love this sound, but I want more sustain, how do I do it? Well, let's, let's look first in our amplifier section. We've got a couple things going on here. First of all, I have a compressor right here and I have gain right here. This is gonna be the number one way that you're gonna get more sustain out of your Kemper. My sound already sounds like this. <laughs> It goes for a long time. It's already very sustainy, I think. But if I want more, try upping the gain, you know? Of course, the secret to feedback, because I see this question a lot too, the secret to feedback is you got to have a speaker pushing out the same vibration that the string is going to vibrate at. That's feedback, right? Okay, anyway, that's a side lesson. Up the gain. That'll get you more sustain. What else will get you more sustain? Let's up the compression. Check this out now. Look at that. Oh, I'm compressing this. Thing. <laughs> is an absurd amount of compression. Now, honestly, this is a little, I mean, you're gonna wanna dial that compressor in, play your sustainy lead part, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and drop D there for a second. Um, you're gonna wanna, you know, dial that in because it's not the most pleasant thing to play with. I mean, it feels very compressed, right? Another thing you could do though, let's, let's bring this compressor back down a little bit. We've got our gain up. Something else you could do is, what if you came right in here and we switched this out and instead of a distortion, we added in like a boost on top. We'll get more saturation. So with it off, we're gonna sound like this. <laughs> Already a ton, but let's get a little more. the sustain in the world. You know what I'm saying? But maybe you want some more. We also have a little compressor here. I could up this mix, I could up the squash, I could up the attack. I could just up everything and I'm gonna get even more without it. With it. Just 
so much of it, just so much of it. Now, I could come here too, and I could do one more thing. If you really want to like squeeze something, right? This is this is not so usable for this genre, right? Obviously, I have a I have a like a a, a rockin' sound, and this is a very like rockin' guitar. But um, you could add in a compressor. Let's do this hard default compressor. Now, double compression, like before and after, is something you'll you'll do as a slide player. Slide players get that tone a lot, and it'll sound like this. And I don't know if this is gonna work very well. <laughs> couldn't find sustain, but then HW showed me how. You know what I'm saying? That's the song. <laughs> that, okay, you can hear that that is like more of a real effect, right? I mean, we're squashing the output. We're doing a lot here. Um, and you can get a cool thing, right? There's a really cool thing to happen. You can darken it up and go like this. I mean, you could do like a weird Evo thing that could work for tappings, just some sort of a weird sound effect thing. Here's the point. If you really want to increase sustain, you're going to want to Try upping the gain, right? First start with something that has a lot of sustain. That might be the, the first key. Start with something that already has good bones. Then you're gonna wanna up the gain. Uh, try using a, 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 the compressor in the amp section. That would be the number one thing. Come right here in the amp section. Where's my gain? Where's my compressor at, right? Then you're gonna wanna go, okay, maybe do I want a little green screamy boost? That is gonna give me a lot of sustain and also gonna focus my sound towards a very vocal mid-rangey sound, right? But any boost will work, but the Tube Screamer just has a lot of compression anyway, right? Then after that, well, let's try using compressors. Maybe, maybe before, maybe after, maybe both. All of those things will help you increase sustain. One other little point I wanna make, if you're having trouble getting notes to sustain, turn off, and, and you're not sure what it is, you're troubleshooting it, turn off the amp, listen to your guitar. If your string is fretting out, you're not gonna be able to fix that. You need to go to a luthier, to a tech, and say, hey, I have strings that aren't ringing because they're bottoming out. And they might say, okay, we need to adjust the neck, you have a a fret that's too high, meaning you're not gonna be able to solve problems that, things that are wrong with the instrument. If you're fretting a note and it chokes out because of the physics, because of, um, it's getting hung up on something, you're gonna wanna fix that. But just try to identify, is that the problem or is it my tone? I hope this has been helpful. I've been HW, thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. Um, should I play Van Halen wrong again? Why not? <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.